Hi, Doug Tillman back with you from the Customer Technical Education Center in Cincinnati. And in this CFM Leap Maintenance Minute, we're going to cover the procedure for servicing the pneumatic air starter. The pneumatic air starter is lubricated with engine oil to prevent damage to its internal components. While the pneumatic air starter shares oil with the engine, it does require a pre-service amount of oil to ensure that there is adequate lubrication the first time the engine is rotated. The starter is installed on the accessory gearbox and there are two methods for servicing the starter. The first method requires that the starter be removed from the gearbox and oil is manually added through the fill port on the starter. That fill port is not accessible when the starter is installed on the gearbox. The second method and the method that we're going to focus on in this video is servicing the starter while it is still installed on the accessory gearbox. Always refer to the approved procedure for the type and quantity of required oil for pre-servicing of the starter. Regardless of which method you use, the amount of oil for pre-servicing will remain the same. To begin the procedure, the first thing that we need to do is remove the magnetic plug from the starter. To remove the plug, we need to push it in, rotate it counterclockwise, and then pull it out. Once you have the magnetic plug removed, you need to go ahead, remove, and discard the two O-rings on the magnetic plug. The adapter listed in the procedure has a bayonet adapter on one end to interface with the starter. The other end of the adapter will connect to any suitable oil source capable of measuring the amount of oil to be added to the starter. Install the adapter plug into the housing of the starter and rotate clockwise and ensure that it is connected securely into the starter. With the adapter fully inserted into the plug housing of the starter, fill the starter with the required amount of oil per the procedure. During servicing of the starter, the oil should flow freely into the starter. If the oil is not flowing freely, you may have to apply upward pressure to the adapter to get the oil to flow freely. Once the required amount of oil has been added to the starter, you may remove the adapter from the starter housing. Okay, we have installed new packings on our magnetic plug. Uh, we have lubricated those packings with clean engine oil. So now we can go ahead and reinstall that into the plug housing of the starter, line up the pins of the bayonet fitting, rotate it clockwise, and ensure that that is locked into position. Once the starter servicing tasks have been complete, return the aircraft to its serviceable condition. That's it for Leap Pneumatic Air Starter Servicing. We'll see you next time.